Yo, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to reveal to you the secret that a lot of people might find hard to believe, which is this, how to control your reality. Yep, you heard it right. So if you feel helpless, like you have no choice of what's happening in your life, then yo, think again. And this is part of the series I'm doing called Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zeeland. Let's do this. You see, Zeeland points out that people tend to gladly express their attitude towards life when they're dissatisfied with something. Whereas when something good happens, they respond almost indifferently towards it, right? Pretty much taking it for granted. But here's the thing. People tend to do this unconsciously. He calls this the oyster effect. It's simply out of habit. Now, what do I usually say in every transurfing video? It should be ingrained in your mind by now. Say it with me. The world is what? A mirror. The world is a mirror, listen, that reflects your relationship to it. Again, the world is a mirror that reflects your relationship to it. And if that's the case, this tendency of negativity that people have, ready for this? generates and brings even more negative features in the mirror, therefore making the layer of your world more gloomy and dull, life loses its brightness, and it ends up being filled with unpleasant events. For instance, Zealand says that when a person is depressed, what happens? The dark clouds gather even more in the reflection. Or let's say you become super aggressive. Well then, the world instantly responds in the same way. Or what about those times when you get into an argument with someone and you're freaking pissed off like crazy, expressing your discontent? What do you notice? Something usually unpleasant follows, like right after. Huh, something to think about. In other words, since a world's a mirror, the more irritated you get, guess what? The more problems will cling to you. Everyone will stink and annoy you. You know what I'm saying? Everything will get under your skin. See, what matters, folks, is not how you're thinking about something. What matters is what you're thinking about. It's what you're thinking about because only the content of your thoughts has any meaning. For example, if you're constantly thinking things like, leave me alone or I'm tired of all this crap, yo, don't be surprised with the result because your relationship's still focused on the object of your dissatisfaction. So whether or not you like what's going on in the reflection, in your reality, believe it or not, it's still the subject of your thoughts, plain and simple. The question is, What's the solution then? And the answer is, wake up. Wake up. Go beyond the level of the oyster. Break out of the habit, for goodness sake. Change your attitude of how you perceive and respond to reality from now on. Because look, unlike the oyster, you have the ability to consciously and intentionally control your relationship with the external world. You have the advantage to do it, consciously. And once you do, once you've freed yourself from the attachment to the mirror, then you'll be able to create the reflection that you want to see. Is this making sense? All right, real talk. What about you? Have you been reacting negatively these days, getting annoyed and expressing discontent? If so, it can happen. Don't be hard on yourself. But here's what I want you to do today. Take control. Take control. Free yourself from the mirror. And with your intention, consciously choose the colors of your reality. Express gratitude as much as possible. Make it a habit, regardless of the circumstances in your life right now. Attune your outlook to align with your dominant ideas, positive things, things that you want. And just watch. Zealand says that the mirror will react. The mirror will react. It'll confirm and strengthen the content of your thought forms. Because by controlling the pattern of your thoughts, your relationship to the world, you control reality. Straight up, you control reality. Because if you don't, Reality will control you. Wake up. You get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And in case you haven't heard, there's an official International Transurfing Institute for the English Language endorsed by Vadim Zeeland himself. And you can find out more by clicking on the links below. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training That'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.